Hey guys, this is Dina. Today's little video, I'm gonna show you how to finish off a acrylic painting on canvas, how to varnish it, how to finish off the sides, and how to wire it and get it ready to hang on your wall. So let's get started. finish off your painting um, you're gonna need a couple of things first of all you've got your finished artwork and this is acrylic and it's on a canvas with what they call gallery wrapped sides which means that the staples don't show on the sides the staples are actually on the back and then you've got some varnish either matte varnish or it actually comes in glossy uh, this is acrylic varnish and then you're going to need for the way I do it You're going to need some black acrylic paint and something to put it on and you're going to need a brush sort of like this one You're going to need a ruler a pencil a Pen a permanent pen. I use a sharpie You're going to need a wire cutter and some picture framing wire and two of these little screw-in eyes. I also use an awl like this, but if you don't have an awl, and most people don't, I don't think, you can use a small nail like this one and a hammer. Okay, so the first thing you do with your finished painting when the paint is completely dry is you're gonna put on a very smooth, even coat of acrylic varnish. Now I've already done that because it takes a little while to dry, but dry. But like I said, you use you can choose between matte finish or gloss finish. I usually use matte because I don't like a shiny surface. I like my colors and my textures to come through on their own, but some people like a really shiny surface and that is your personal choice. So with that, usually I just pour a little bit of the varnish into um, some sort of a little container and then I use a soft brush to put a very even coat on the whole painting go side to side and then up and down. Make sure you don't have any big globs of varnish um, and then put it aside to dry, you know, for several hours. Okay, so the next thing I do usually is I paint the sides of my canvas black. Some people like to paint the canvas with a complementary color to the painting, like you could in this case use this yellowish tone and that would be nice looking, but I usually paint the sides of my canvases black because I like them all to look somewhat uniform. So on this canvas, I can you can see that I've already painted all the sides black except for this one, and I was gonna show you how I do that. It's pretty simple. You just use some black paint and put a little bit of that out on whatever your palette is. Or I don't use my main painting palette for this. I usually just use some sort of disposable thing. Um, and then you're going to use a, a brush like this, kind of a square flat brush. I find you works the best. And then you're just going to very carefully paint along the whole side of the canvas and you use the flat edge of the brush to go right up to the edge and make a nice even line. And you gotta work the paint into the end a little bit so that it won't show when you hang the canvas on the wall. So just get as even a line as you possibly can and do that all the way along the length of the canvas so that it should look like this when you're finished. 
Okay, and if you want to um, do a little test and kind of hold the canvas to the side like this and see whether you've got any white showing along here or color uneven right there, do that. Okay, so I'm gonna imagine that that's all black just for, um, for time's sake. So the next thing you're gonna do is wire the canvas on the back. So I'm gonna put this down flat. Okay, now we're ready to do the wiring. So what I usually do is I take my pencil that has disappeared. Here's my pencil. And you're going to want to measure about a third of the way down the back of the canvas here, between here and here, about a third of the way. It doesn't have to be exactly um, specifically measured, but you know, if you want to use the ruler, what I usually do is sort of, here I'll show you on this side, I usually will mark, um, let's say two and a half inches here, and then I'll go over here and do the same thing. Okay, and here is where I use my awl and if you wanted to, you could use a nail and a hammer. And I'm using this to start a little hole so that the eyes, uh, so that the screw eyes go in easier. So what I do is you can see on the side, inside of the canvas, there's this wood stretcher bar and it usually has a grain line that you can see. So I usually put the all kind of in between some of the grain lines and a little bit less than halfway towards the canvas. And then what I do is hold the awl like this and use the hammer just to give it a tap. And that makes the hole to put the screw eye in. So now the screw eye just goes right into that hole. And sometimes you can do it by hand but you may need um, you may need a pair of pliers to get it all the way in. And the screw eyes that I'm using are awfully big for this um, particular canvas. I probably ideally would use some that are a little bit smaller, but um, these are the ones I had. So you're gonna wanna screw this until it's completely uh, flat. So I've got some pliers and I'm gonna screw this. Um, get that going there. I'm gonna screw this in until it's flat like that. All right, can you see that? And this ideally would be sunk all the way in, but like I said, this is a little bit bigger than ideal and I probably will do it late, over later. But So now what you do is you go over here where you've made this line and make a line like that. And once again, I'm gonna take my awl, I'm gonna line it up right there, and I'm gonna give it a tap to start that hole. And then, okay, now I'm gonna put my other screw eye in. Okay, now I've got both screw eyes in and they're um, parallel or, yeah, parallel to the surface of the canvas. So now comes the wire. This is picture wire. Um, I got it from a framing supply company online. Um, you could probably get it on Amazon or something like that. It's going to be a lot cheaper if you get it from a professional framing place than if you tried to buy it at um, some place like Home Depot. Um, Home Depot is going to charge way, way more. And when you get it from a framing place, you get this giant roll of it that'll last you forever. It comes in different thicknesses. Um, this, this is a pretty thin uh, type of wire, but it's fine for a very lightweight canvas. Basically, you want uh, the eye 
the screw eyes to be bigger and the wire to be thicker, the bigger the canvas is or the heavier it is. This is a little very lightweight canvas, so I could use a very lightweight wire and that'll be just fine. So what you're gonna do is measure out a length of wire. It's gonna be as wide as your canvas and in this case about six inches more on either side. You want it to be long enough to have a little bit of a curve like this and then have about four or five, six inches on either side to, um, to twist up and keep that uh, really secure. So now I'm gonna take my wire cutters and I'm gonna cut right here just a few inches away. Okay. So now I've got my wire, thread it through here and bend it about, you know, four inches and then loop it through again and pull that tight. And now you go over through the other eye And you don't want to pull it super tight. You want to leave a little bit of a bend in it like that because that's where the hook is going to go, that it, the painting is going to hang on um, from the wall. So you bend this over, loop it through again. And pull it tight. So there I've got it secured on both sides. And I've got a little bit of a, um, a bend in it where the uh, picture framing, framing hook is gonna go. So if you want to, you can loop these through a few more times. Um, if it's a heavier painting, I would suggest you do that. Uh, but for this little light painting, this will be fine. And then you just twist this around and pull it tight twist it some more and then if you've got a little bit left over you can just clip that off if it's too long you don't want these big long wires hanging off and then be sure and wrap that around so that it's not sharp this wire is actually coated in plastic so it's not um, particularly hard on your hands or a danger of poking you or anything it's pretty soft but the very end is a little bit um, sharp so just roll Roll that under there. Okay, so now you have a wire that'll allow you to hang this painting on um, a J-hook or just on a nail if that's what you have. And that's kind of the uh, actual appropriate way to hang a painting from the wall. A lot of times people put those little cheap things um, that you just hammer in there, the jaw tooth, um, things and those are okay, but this is really a, a much more professional and um, sturdy way to finish off your paintings. So now the last step um, for me is usually to sign the painting. I use a Sharpie for this and I sign it twice. I sign it up here on the canvas and then I usually sign it on the back of the painting as well. So I put, when I'm signing mine, I put the copyright symbol, which is that little C in a circle. And then I put my name. That's me. And I put the date, just the year. Now, there's a lot of argument amongst the art world as to whether you should put a date on your paintings. Um, I never put a date on the front, but I do put a date on the back because I find that it helps um, to sort of keep track of when I do, when I've done the paintings because I paint a lot. And um, I also put the copyright symbol because I just want to give people a gentle reminder that just because you sell an original painting doesn't mean you're selling the copyrights. The artist always retains the copyright to the painting um, unless they actually spell out that they are selling you the copyright. If you buy a painting from me, you get the painting, you don't get the copyright. And that's pretty standard in the art world. 
And then I usually sign it on the back very lightly with my, um, my signature. And then the third thing I do is I usually write the name of the painting. Um, this canvas doesn't have a lot of room to do that. So I think I'm gonna do it on the side right here. And this painting is called Good Boy. Okay, so I've got my signature with the copyright notice. I have my handwritten signature and I have the title. I've got my picture frame wire all ready to hang. The front of the painting is completely varnished. The sides look nice and even, and you are ready to hang this picture on the wall. I hope that was helpful for you guys. Um, if you like this video, please hit that like button for me. Um, if you like my videos and you'd like to see more of them in the future, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification when I've put new videos up. And uh, thanks for watching.